All right, so the babies with grandma and grandpa, the husband's at home mowing, and mama is grocery shopping. That means I'm plant shopping. Hey everybody, it's Alicia from Grace Plants, and today I am just doing a little quick plant shopping at Lowe's. Like, I know that I do a lot of videos shopping at Lowe's, but honestly, it is the best place around here, or at least my area, for house plants. So, and I feel like every week they've got new stuff in, so I'm pretty excited. So they have a lot of new succulents in, which is really exciting. It is gorgeous. Of course, there's not a sticker on it. Pearl von Nuremberg. Very, very pink. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know, I have a thing for like the thick, fatty succulents. I feel like I always gravitate towards those. No cobweb semper vivums. Your watch chains look so nice. I can't wait until mine are rerooted and happy again. They're nice and compact like that. So I have some elephant bushes. Bachelera Afroberica. Ooh. Oh, and they have some burrow's tail. These are so pretty. Like, if you can keep yourself from touching the actual leaves and just let them get that cloudy coating on them, they're just gorgeous. Oh, look it. So... I have one of these that was a Walmart rescue, and I didn't know what it was because it was just a like a grab bag. This says Echeveria Miranda. Huh. See, that's one good thing about looking at plants all the time, is that sometimes you get succulents and things, maybe in arrangements that you don't know what the names are, and just by coming, poking around, looking around at succulents, you can figure out some of the names. I mean, not that it's super important to know the names of everything, but I don't know. It's, I like to know. I'm nosy. So I got a bunch of grafted cactus. Angel wing cactus. These are so pretty. I think these would look really nice in an arrangement. Let's see. String of raindrops. What is this? I gotta move away from this. I keep setting the door off. Euphorbia. Euphorbia Mammillaria Sparagata. I feel like Steph Hall just had one of these in her video that she just did. This one's obviously a lot smaller than hers, but huh, I've never seen those. Lots of pretty nice new arrangements. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. You know, we all know how I feel about the fake, fake flowers on cactuses. Cacti. So, a bunch of money trees. Looks like they've got all of their orchids on clearance, too. So, if you're in the Dubuque, Iowa area and you're looking for a orchid, they've got them on clearance and they're still very pretty. 
succulent arrangement, $12.95. So, another thrifty mom hack. I honestly wouldn't pay $12.95 for this. However, if it was ever on clearance, I would absolutely get it because I would go through and I would propagate all of these leaves on this stem since this is since it's stretched out here. I'd propagate every one of these leaves and then reroute the nice tops to them. And then you would turn one plant into 20. And then the same thing with these guys. Propagate, propagate, propagate. It's the easiest way to get free plants. So I've heard that if you get an African violet, you should get more than one. That they do better in groups. Can anybody tell me if there's any truth to that or not? <gasps> oh, you guys. <gasps> These are new. <laughs> oh, this just made my day. So... These are extremely, extremely tiny, but these are the snake plant Sansevieria, and it doesn't say on here, but I'm almost positive that these are the Cylindrica. They're just obviously a really tiny version of it. How much are these? $6.99. Going home with one of these. Oh. I see some bear paws back there. You never see those in Dubuque. All right, let's see what they got for house plants. Quite a few string of bananas, rainbow elephant bush. I mean, it's not super important if you don't know the names of your houseplants, but like I said, I'm nosy. I've also got a very curious toddler and a very nosy husky. So I personally like to know what my plants are just in case, heaven forbid, anything would happen, anybody would happen to eat any of my house plants. So far we haven't had any issues. I mean the cat's taken down a few house plants in her time, but nothing serious. Ooh, somebody's really not happy. Aw, look at it. There's a baby frog. Romeo Ruby Cascade. Aww. That's cute. This is actually on my want list. It hasn't quite made it to the wish list. It's just kind of a want. Like I want it, but I don't know if I want it. 1098 want it. It's super cute though. Look at them. They're watering their bamboo. We got down here. These kind of look like Diffenbachia, but oh, Aglianema. That's actually pretty cool. I haven't seen any Aglionemas here that weren't like the red and pink. This is the first time I've ever seen a a green variety here. Well, that's new. Yeah, these are the egg neonemas that I'm used to seeing here. They're the pink and reds and the very, very bright colors. What is this? Is that gonna be a flower in that teddy bear vine? I 
I see a lot of people with these teddy bear vines, but to me, they remind me of like tarantula legs, like the, the fuzzy stems. I don't know, maybe that's just me. All right, so it was getting a little late by the time I got done getting groceries tonight, so neat groceries. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed going plant shopping with me. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to tell me down below so I can do more Lowe's plant shopping, uh, preferably somewhere different than Lowe's for once. Uh, but if you like it, let me know down below. If you don't like it, let me know down below and I won't do as many. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.